guys, what's going on? Pastor Mike Rule coming to you live from Highlands Bible Church, giving you a preview of what's coming up this week at Highlands. Don't forget today being Wednesday. It is not only midweek, it is the start of our new midweek series called Problems with Christianity. And tonight we are going to kick off with an introduction. We're going to talk about apologetics. And most of all, we're going to talk about worldviews. What is a worldview? Everybody has one. What are some of the uh, biggest worldviews that people have? How does that affect the way we live? All of that to set the foundation of what is coming in the weeks to come, where we do discuss some of these big problems that people have with Christianity, barriers to the faith, and looking and talking through those things from what the Bible has to say, but also, uh, of course, in a practical application. Lots of dialogue, so we're looking forward to that. We will be downstairs in the sanctuary tonight, 6.30 p.m. We're expecting uh, larger crowds than usual, so we want to spread out a little bit. So please join us tonight, 6.30 p.m., as we kick off our new midweek series, Problems with Christianity. Also then coming up Sunday, July 3rd, the Lord's Day, we will gather, of course, at 9.30 a.m. We will sing together, we will fellowship together and encourage one another as we endeavor to live lives that are worthy of the calling of Christians right here in Sussex County in 2022, which is a challenge and it's getting to be more and more of a challenge. Of course, we will be uh, doing part three of our Defending the Faith mini-series and we will be looking at one verse. That's right, one verse. First Peter chapter three, verse 15, which says, in your hearts set apart Christ as holy. Always be ready to make a defense, an apologia, apologetics, to give an answer, to make a defense for the reason, for the hope that you have within you, but do so with gentleness and respect. And that's the trick. How do we do so with gentleness and respect, especially when people are not treating us with gentleness and respect? How do we make that defense of the faith? And so very, very important verse, the apologetic great commission, so to speak. We look forward to looking at the apologetics of Peter. Also, don't forget, as it is the first Sunday of the month, we will be celebrating our communion service during the service. So please, as you prepare yourself for the Lord's Day, be mindful that we will spend time at the Lord's table um, in obedience, remembering his sacrifice, considering that and considering our own hearts before the Lord as we celebrate the Lord's table together in communion. Also, Sunday night, as it is the first Sunday in the month, we have communion in the morning, but we also have prayer meeting at night. So prayer meeting, 6 o'clock p.m. We will be upstairs in the office in the air conditioning, and we will be gathered together for prayer. We have much to pray for, church, uh, with the scene that's going on right now with abortion and so much hatred and false information and just emotion raging. We still are called to be the church in the midst of this, still called to hold to the truth of biblical morality. How do we do that without prayer? We can't. We need to throw ourselves on the mercy of the Lord and he is faithful and just to do what he has promised, to empower us for the work that he's called us to. Coming up in July, don't forget, July 10th, we have our youth group picnic. That's parents and youth groupers. See Emily. If you have uh, questions and more information, also on July 10th, we'll have our next family care group. So you can see Brad or Taylor if you have questions about that. That will meet downstairs after the service on July 10th. Bring your own lunch. And then our Next Steps class coming up July 17th. Important next step for anyone uh, if you want to know more about Highlands Bible Church, but especially if you would like to know about membership, which we hold very, very highly here at Highlands. Highlands and highly. I didn't even mean to do that, but hey, it's true. We do hold it highly. So if you would like to come, all are welcome. July 17th, please sign up for that at the welcome table. That will be at 5 p.m. Also, rounding out July, we have our baptism service at the Lazarders. If you've not been baptized, please see me immediately. That list is getting longer and we want to make sure that you're included, want to have a conversation with you, talk about the faith and your testimony, talk about what baptism means. We'll walk you through all of that and we look forward to celebrating with all of the baptismal candidates, I guess you'd call them, on Sunday, July 31st after the service. I think that's all I have for us. So thank you for watching and for listening. And uh, I hope you have a great rest of the week. We'll see you at midweek tonight, and we will see you on Sunday. <laughs>